welcome to this episode which is the eighth episode in which we've been looking at the 2020 GCE mathematics paper one so in the first eight episodes we focused on question 1 through 19 so in this episode we are starting with question 20 and 20 leads on the diagram in the answer space shade three more triangles to make a pattern with rotational symmetry of order 3. So if you look at question A, this is what they want us to answer. So for you to follow along, as I explain, let me just try to zoom in so that we are able to see the shape. So what you notice here is uh, we are required to shade three more triangles to make sure that this has uh, three rotational symmetry order. So what it means is when we rotate this, we need to rotate it three times to return to where we were. So for us to do that, so the parts that we need to shade, the first part is basically we need to shade this part. You see this triangle? We shade this triangle. Then next we shade this triangle. So if you shade this triangle, what you notice is this shape. Okay. This shape becomes the same as this shape. Okay. Then what next? We need to make sure that the other shape also this shape is like the others so when you shade this what you discover what you discover is these three shapes they look alike and then the distance in between we have one triangle one triangle one triangle is the same so if we start from this sh this side we shall call a we are going to rotate it one time so that this side comes here then the second we do is the the second one then the third one we tend to where we were so these are the parts that we need to shade for us to ensure that this is a order of symmetry uh three or rotational symmetry of order three at the center this is the center here so basically this is how you answer question a of 20. let us move to question b so question b again i'm going to zoom so that you're able to follow along lead simple interest is given by the formula uh, interest is equal to principal times uh, time times rate over Android. Complete the flow chart in the answer space below for calculating the simple interest. So what we've been told in this case, we've been given the flow chart start. So you open the software where I want to write this code, which is the start. Then what are the key inputs? So the output is interest. Then the key input is P, T, and R. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to enter so you need to enter what are you entering you need to enter p t and r so you enter these in the the values then what comes next so what comes next is basically you calculate so you calculate so now you enter the formula p multiplying by t then r over 100 then once you do that we need to print i then we stop so basically this is how you answer question 20b okay let us move to question uh, 21 so question 21 reads in the diagram below point a is 1,1 1, 1, b is 0, 0,7 c is 14,0 d is 7,0 and e is 7,1 then write down for inequalities that define the unshaded region R. So when you are asked to find inequalities, the first thing that you need to identify those lines that are vertical or horizontal. Those are the easiest to find. So if you start with uh, the vertical line, which is uh, passing through D and E. So if you look at D and E, what's the value of uh, at D, the value of uh, x is 7 the value of y is 0 at e the value of x is 7 the value of y is 1 so what you notice is uh, the value of x is not changing so in that case what you are saying is the first one the value here is 7 of x but uh, this is the unwanted region so we want all the values that are uh, to the left of uh, the line but what you notice is this line is uh, um, a broken line it's not a solid line so hence the points passing through d and e are not part of the solution 
So in this case, what you are saying, x is strictly less or equal to 7. Remember, along this line, the value of x is 7 throughout. All right. Then we go to number 2. So number 2 is the one that is horizontal. In this case, what you notice here is, if you look at the value of y and at a and e. So at a, the value of y is 1 and x is 1. At a, then at e, the value of x is 7. It has changed, but the value of y is 1. Then, if you look at critical at this line, which is passing through A and E, it's a solid line. So, meaning the points along the lines are part of the solution. So, what it means in that, in that case, Y is greater because we want anything above that is greater or equal to 1. So, these are the first two that are easier to find. Then, the, the, the other one for this one, which is upward sloping, and this one, which is downward sloping, we need to find the gradient. So we need to use the general equation. So general equation is y is equal to m times x plus c. So we are answering, looking for the third inequality. So we need to find m. But m gradient is given by x y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let us pick two points. We are starting with an uh, equation that is passing through b and c. Through b and c. So, at B, we have basically 0, 0,7. Then at C, we have basically uh, 14,0. So, to find N, what we do is basically, uh, what's the value of Y here is 0 minus C. What's the value at B of Y is 7 over the value of X here is 14 minus C. The value of X here is 0. So, we are ending up with it. Minus 7 over 14, which is basically minus half. So, after we find that, what we know is now we have y is equal to minus 1 over 2x plus c. So, now what we need to do is we need to find the value of c. How can you find the value of c? We need just to pick one point or among these points. So, it's easier to deal with the one which has a 0 because it's much more straightforward. We don't have to start it. Then, we can replace them. Let me use a color. So, y is equal to a minus half multiplied by what's the value of x here is 0 plus then c. But what's the value of y at the same point? So the value of y is basically 7. So whatever there is y, again, I'm going to put a 7. So we end up with 7 is equal to 0 times anything is 0. Then 7 is equal to c. Then we have now the equation with straight line minus half x plus 7. Now, this line is this line, but uh, we want the region below. So, the closest 0 to the region below is 0, 0,0 0 is the easiest. So, if I were to put 0, 0,0, what sign would I put there? So, 0, then box. So, it will be, whatever there is x, we put a 0 plus 7. So, we end up with 0, uh, 7. Because 0 times a negative half is 0. So what is true here is, in this case, is where we want for this to hold, it should be less. So what it is, 0 is less than 7. So if 0 is less than 7, what it means in this case now, but this is a solid line. So meaning, including the point, 0 or equal to, so it should be this. So meaning our third inequality now, whatever we had equal sign in, in, in this equation, remember this equation that we had found, whatever we had sign, equal sign, we are going to put this. So what it means is y is less or equal to minus half x plus 7 as our third in equality. So similarly, we will do that for the fourth in equality. So the fourth in equality, uh, basically, we are going to look at the point that passes through 0 and a. So a, we have 0, let us start with 0, so 0 is 0, 0, then at A, we have 1, 1. So we need to find this equation, then we need to find M. So M in this case, which is Y2 minus Y1, then X2 minus X1. So M is equal to, so this will be the second point, this is the origin. So for last to move from O to A, so this is Y1, which is Y. 1 minus 0, the origin, then we come to the second one, which is this one, x minus that, so which is basically 
1 minus 0. So we have m is equal to 1. So m is equal to 1. Then the equation now becomes y is equal to, whatever this m, we are putting basically uh, a 1. So 1 multiplied by x. Okay, 1 multiplied by x then plus c. So we have y is equal to x plus c. Then we pick one point between these two. So the easiest to deal with is this one. We don't waste so much time. So there the value of y is 0 is equal to the value of x is 0 plus c. So c is equal to 0. Then we have basically y is equal to x. Now if you look at this point, so we want the region below. We want the region below. So the point which is part of this, I can pick my point D. It's below this, you see. It's in so because this is the unwanted region. So if I pick D, D is a uh, seven comma zero. So what it means is I'll put uh, I'll, I'll put a box here Y, then I'll put a box then X. Okay. Then I'm going to replace the value of Y is zero at D. Then the value of X is basically seven. So what do we want? So what what is true in this case is 7 is greater than 0 this is true okay so what it means is this becomes true so it means y is less than x uh, it is again strictly less than because this line is a blocking line it's not a solid line so meaning all the points along that line are not part of the solution so this becomes our fourth inequality. So this is how you answer this question to get the five marks. So these are the four inequalities. Okay. This one, this one, this one, and the, the fourth one, which is this one. So thank you for joining me in this episode. Please join me in the last episode where I'll look at question 22 and 23.